What are the most common problems you see when processing accepted manuscripts? Um, the main source of delay uh, when a new manuscript comes in is missing parts. Um, and this includes uh, things that are required for the manuscript that are, are not included, such as supporting information, as well as things just um, not present in the um, word processing document, as opposed to just being present in a, a PDF format. So um, it's important that figure captions and tables, uh, scheme and chart titles, all be included in the word manuscript. Or, or the uh, word processing document um, rather than submitted separately so that they can be um, converted along with the rest of the body of the manuscript. That's a fairly common mistake. We, we get um, a significant number of, of um, manuscripts that have to be held to obtain uh, additional information from the authors in order to resolve those mismatches. Some of the things that will delay a proof um, when, when it's returned from the uh, author is if the author has not addressed the queries that were present in the edit trace PDF that is um, supplied with their galley proof corrections. This might cause us to have to contact the author and wait for his response uh, to some of those queries so that will delay the uh, processing of the proof. Um, another significant issue um, is if we receive more than one set of corrections. It's really important because of the speed at which things are done um, at the proof stages. Um, things can go very quickly from us receiving the corrections to the, to the paper actually being published on the web. Um, it's very important that we receive one single complete set of corrections from the group of authors. It's also important that we get one document that has the galley corrections from all of the authors so that there are not multiple documents that we have to track down or process um, or try to go back and fix later, especially in view of the fact that galley corrections are processed so rapidly um, in our office once we receive them. If we don't have all of them when we get the first set of corrections, often the paper might be already published before we get the subsequent um, corrections if they're more sent and that would um, be difficult once the paper is already published to make those additional corrections. One important um, area in regard to proof corrections is that the information that the author submits to us is clear. Um, for us, it's easiest to process galley corrections if they are keyed to the line numbers in the galley proof. Every so often, authors have sent us just a revised version of a word processed manuscript and may expect that we will go through line by line and find the places where things are fixed. And that's very difficult. Um, so to expedite um, galley corrections, it would be important to make sure that um, the changes are clear and that they're clearly uh, keyed to the galley proof. Authors should carefully review the critical information on their galley proof, such as the title, the authors, the affiliations, and their acknowledgment, and double check that they're faithfully represented on the galley proof. What are some of the things to keep in mind when reviewing the galley? Um, when an, an author file is received into our production systems, it uh, is initially converted into an XML file format. Um, and therefore, consistent presentation of the incoming manuscripts helps us to uh, get better consistency in the initial conversion um, and tagging to ensure accuracy as well as efficiency when we're editing the file. Okay, so in the case um, if the author name is received and is not in the standard Western format of given name first, surname second, we can receive that name incorrectly tagged so that the surname uh, can tag contains the given name, the given name tag contains the surname. If this is not something that's easily identified by us as incorrect, then that name can be incorrectly indexed and incorrectly identified for search purposes on the web product. As an author, you can determine whether your name was correctly tagged by looking at the edit trace PDF that you will receive with your galley proof. And you can see that the name is colored 
so that the given name is in a light brown shade, the surname is in black with a boldface font. So if this is incorrect on your edit trace document, then you have an opportunity in the proof correction process to rectify that situation. In addition, in the edit trace document, you will see at the top um, queries about the content of your paper that need to be addressed during your proof correction process. If you do not address these queries in your initial proof return, that can result in delays in your paper at proof correction stage while we contact you to find uh, the, the answers to these queries. Um, in the edit trace document, changes to the manuscript are tracked uh, with a strike through <coughs> and pink highlighting for deletions and blue highlighting for insertions.